Hello everyone, this is Crota giving you a shoutcast in a game between ESC's Goody versus MTW Daimaga here on Tall Dareem Altar. This is the GSL GSTL version of the map, meaning there are there is no way or no a uh, low ground connection here. It is an actual untraversable um, terrain. There is only one gas geyser and five mineral patches at the third base. No rocks, so this should probably help Daimaga out just a little bit if he's trying to establish his third base, if Goody does in fact try to do a fast expansion here on Tall Dareem Altar. Now, Daimaga spawning as the red Zerg player on the bottom right hand side of the map, Goody spawning on the top left hand side of the map as the purple Terran, Terran versus Zerg, and this is going to be cross spawns, which will definitely, definitely help Daimaga in this matchup, as, as Tall Dream Altar is really known for a macro style of play, as Zerg can easily defend these two slash three bases, and then try to push out with a, a larger number of units. However, I have seen a lot of Terran players use that Marine, Tank, Medevac, slow encroachment, um, just slowly pushing out, having those siege tanks destroy banelings and having the marines destroy mutilus. And it's very difficult in the hands of a very capable Terran player in order to stop. You can see pretty much a very fast gas coming in over here from Goody. So Goody actually slowed down his production of SCVs in order to get that faster gas. You're going to see that gas come up um, significantly faster. And we'll see what Goody tries to do with that. Um, normally, when you see that fast gas, you obviously know it is not going to be a fast expansion as he's not going to have the minerals for it. And is he going to go for an early tech lab, go perhaps for an earlier factory? Um, I can't say for sure as of yet, but we'll see what's going to be happening um, as this game now moves along. Overlord now making his way out as well, flying across the center gap over here. We are going into a tech lab now, so... Um, perhaps with that earlier tech lab, he's going to go into a faster Reaper expansion. Um, that would be a little bit of an unorthodox play. We are even in terms of SCVs versus drones now, 15 to 15, a Reaper now being trained. So unless my eyes were deceiving me and getting a little bit confused, perhaps that refinery was just right on time and not quite sure there. Anyways, SCV going to come inside the base will spot the creep and now pretty much take a look at everything that's going on inside here does know that the spawning pool is already down knows that the queen is currently being trained metabolic boost already being researched as well so the reapers are not going to really be able to deal that much damage unless nitro packs are researched the reason why is that those zerglings are going to be moving much more quickly than those reapers and as soon as they get that metabolic boost currently they have that same movement speed reaper also have that cliff jumping ability ever so powerful we'll be able to jump up and down as we now are getting an overlord over here as well two scvs and making a move and what is gonna what are these scvs going to do perhaps they're gonna try to set up um, a bunker here and now a bunker is being placed down there is currently one zergling the uh, the zerglings now going after those scvs the reaper already getting two zergling kills perhaps gonna maximize more and more zergling kills a new fresh scv also coming into play as well there is a queen and now down over here the Reaper just trying to use that high ground, perhaps get some more kills onto more of those Zerglings now going after that Queen. SCV does get taken down. This Reaper already racking up to four kills. The Bunker has been cancelled. The Zerglings are now much, much faster. And there you go, Daimaga able to easily handle and easily shut down all those two Reapers. So very, very hard losses for Goody already. 16 SCVs versus 18 drones, 17 drones, another Reaper now being trained, another Queen now being added as well. This front door should be able to fend off a lot of Zerglings and very, very easily perhaps going to be going after that Supply Depot. SCVs need to start coming over to repair. It looks like the Reaper will be able to perhaps start poking away at some of those units. Yes, one Zergling now down, another Zergling now. Nope, that other Zergling was not taken down, down to two hit points, I believe. Where is it? There it is. Um, now down to three hit points as there is a little bit of that um, of that natural regeneration. We are getting a, a hatchery over here by Daimaga already. We have this hatchery currently being built as well. Uh, we are going to have a swap now as well. So Goody adding on a tech lab perhaps for some siege tanks. He doesn't have enough gas as of yet, but he could be transitioning into that in just a moment. We also see Hellions now being built as well. Perhaps we will get that blue flame research as there is currently one Reaper trying to get some map control throughout the center. 
hatchery um spawn larva over here command center nearly done there is that infernal pre-igniter the days of plus 10 damage will soon be coming to an end on those hellions the hellions i'm gonna get plus five in the next patch or at least going to get significantly nerfed if not plus five um, but still at plus five damage enough to two shot many of the oh, all of those zerglings there as we now see uh, what scvs continuing to mine away over here yeah, just going to continue to mine back and forth as Goody establishing and running off of two bases now. We are also going into a medevac play. So it is going to be Hellions with Blue Flame, Marines, and medevacs. These Hellions looking to perhaps push out and shut down this expand or shut down all of these um, Zerglings over there and all of the many of those Zerglings getting easily torched. So a lot of Zerglings lost in that engagement, perhaps four to six. And now those Zerglings will be retreating home. The Blue Flame Hellion about to be completed. It looks like the medevac is already out in play or no it's now out in play siege tanks now being added as well so there is going to be four hellions a medevac with this group and perhaps trying to do some drone roasting here at the natural expansion and also at the main base you can see an scv already repairing where is that medevac is the medevac moving out yes it is and it should be picking up those hellions for a drop in just a moment there are a lot of roaches though eight roaches no glial reconstitution just quite yet so they are not going to be able to intercept those hellions as quickly as he would like the medevac doing a very very slow um, slow slow flight path already over now got, getting into double gas as well at the natural expansion 31 drones versus 32 SEVs. hellions are now picked up will they be able to catch uh, or catch any of those units off guard that is the key question it looks like it will as goody now comes in just as drones are getting transferred over and so much damage to be had all those drones gonna get torched and wow that was some huge huge losses already roach is now making their way back in but the worker damage was done um you can see you can see that it's 34 to 34 but that was after 12 worker kills and now the overlords will be able to spot this medevac making sure that those roaches are keeping track of where that medevac is medevac now being very smart deciding to back off there is only a couple of drones over here will not be able to get that much damage but a lot of drones were taken down earlier as we are now transitioning into three factories so a triple factory play inside the main base, also adding on a tech lab as well. So it looks like it's going to turn into, um, is it going to be Banshee, Siege Tanks, uh, Siege Tank Hellion? That would be a rather unusual build. No, it is going to be a Thor. So Thor Hellion build. We are also adding on a reactor as well. So it is going to be some Hellion. So the Zerglings not going to be able to surround those stores at all as the hellions now looking to deal even more damage you can see the medevac now splitting up with the rest of the group perhaps trying to faint that he is going to be going for a drop is it the bait going to be taken the roaches now moving away but there are overlords over here as well there are going to be a couple of roaches already hiding off here the hellions not going to be able to get that many drone kills one drone kill two drone kills are they going to be able to get even more it looks like yes more drone kills still being added this last hellion not going to be able to get any more damage there as the medevac is empty 18 worker kills taking a look at the losses 1400 versus 850 but as we saw just a moment ago there were about 10 drones being added so we are up to 57 drones versus 50 scvs still very very impressive by daimaga even though he has lost a significant number of workers he is still fine at this stage a raven now being added as well so that raven going to be the all necessary detector for terran will be able to and clean up these creep tumors and then prevent any movement speed upgrade also um, for those roaches roaches moving very very quickly on creep especially with that glial reconstitution almost the same movement speed as a hellion now taking a look into the game so far as we are transitioning it looks like goody will be doing a an, a serious um push now but his army is significantly larger in terms of total resources as we are also getting into the vehicle plating and now there are some scvs so six scvs brought along they are all on auto repair with only one thor though will goody have enough firepower to break through this front door there are some roaches here hellions now being added as well the hellions do have significant range gonna perhaps lose one hellion there but also trading it for a roach roaches trading for hellions that's something that um, terran players would normally like to do as oh this one hellion may get taken down no this scv gonna get destroyed as the units are still pushing off over here siege tanks now slowly making their way in there is only one hellion left thor now getting taken down and goody with a very very deep 
deep um, siege tank line here. In come the roaches. The Thor is going to get focused down, but there is enough siege tanks to take down all of these um, roaches off over here. SEVs need to start repairing, but a fungal growth taking them all down as well. A Raven finally adding to the party. Will auto turrets be dropped? That is going to be what's needed here as this one Thor is slowly, slowly getting repaired. Does have level one armor upgrades and there is the GG. So Maga losing the game after trying to take up another expansion instead of macroing up getting a large enough army. And there was the game there. There were siege tanks dear, down here on the low ground. Gonna shut down this queen. Enough siege tanks here. Taking a look at the army combination. 2100 versus 14, 20, uh, versus 375. Not really enough as these infestors um, didn't have enough energy to even spawn infested Terrans. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed game one in this series between MTW Daimaga and ESC Goody here on Tall Dream Altar.